Sri Group Yonama. Good morning viewers. In this video we are going to see the Jupiter's transit which is going to take place on May 1st, 2024. The predictions for all Rasis. On May 1st, around 2 p.m., Jupiter moves from Aries to Taurus. And from Taurus it will start aspecting the Virgo. Scorpio and Capricorn. Second house indicates the house for wealth and Jupiter symbolizes the wealth moves to the second house to the Kala Pursha itself is a good sign. If you are new to my channel, keep this channel subscribed so that you will get my updates instantly. On 1st May 2024, Jupiter from 1st house Aries moves to the second house Taurus. Second house indicates wealth, family life, communication etc. Jupiter itself symbolizes for wealth and the prosperity comes to the house of wealth and prosperity which is second house seems to be really good most of the countries will see a good economic growth after this jupiter transit from taurus it will start aspecting the sixth eighth and tenth houses of the kala purusha if jupiter aspects the sixth house we can say most of the people can get good health this particular period same way there won't be any enmities so there will be friends so it looks like people will get along together so there won't be much problems among the people and it also indicates loan and other debts in the bank so it is easy for most of them to clear their loans from the bank jupiter aspect in the eighth house indicate unexpected luck those working in hospitals may find this period good for them most of the doctors could achieve good targets they could able to come up with a lot of good solutions to the general health as well as the critical health conditions of the public. It is also indicated social media. There will be a good rise and boom in the social media platform. Most of them who are actively participating in social media can get good amount of revenue this particular time. Jupiter aspecting the 10th house indicates lot of job opportunities this year. Some countries may get good business prospects due to which there will be an increase in the job requirements and uh, those who are unemployed for very long they could get a good job opportunities during this time even for those who are working in a company may get good chances of getting an elevations to a senior level transfers to different places and different countries some may get incentives increments and all so these are all positive things now when jupiter moves from aries to taurus let us see which are all the zodiac get good health and which are all the zodiac get good money because in general People are more eager to know only these two factors, either the health or the money. See, the wealth and the health are two important parameters in the life. So, first let us see which are all the zodiac get good health. Jupiter moves from Aries to Taurus and in Taurus it turns out to be a thick bull. So, it takes the maximum positive power there. So, this year, those who are in this zodiac, Taurus, can get good health improvements. Those who are seniors and elders in this zodiac get good support from the doctors, they get good medicines, their health condition will get improved in this year. Now Jupiter aspecting the Virgo, so those who are falling under this particular zodiac may get good health during this time. Seniors and elderly people in this zodiac get good support through traditional medicines especially because Ketu is there very strong and Jupiter aspects Ketu. Those who are taking medicines like in Ayurvedic, Siddha medicines and Homeo medicines get good remedies and compared to the Halopathy medicines. Jupiter aspecting Scorpio and it is a direct aspect. So we can say those who are in this zodiac can get a good health conditions in this year. Especially for those who are elders facing lot of health issues, this Jupiter transit could be a welcome time for them. They will get good support through doctors as well as through medicines. They find all the health related issues getting solved in this particular period. And finally, it is Capricorn, where Jupiter aspects Capricorn in this particular time. Those who are youngsters get good support if they face any chronic health issues. So they get remedies for their prolonged issues. Even seniors in this zodiac get good support through the medicines and get a better health this time. Now let us see which are all the zodiac can expect good money flow in this year. So this is very important because generally people look around for money, how to get good money inflow in this particular time. So when Jupiter moves to the second house for Aries and second house also indicate the house for wealth. So we 
can see the first zodiac is going to enjoy out of the Jupiter transit there will be Aries because the placement of Jupiter is really good and strong at second house. They can able to achieve a lot of things through their communication, especially those working with communication as a base like lawyers, professors, teachers. This year they get good increase and increments in their salary and their uh, benefits. So their uh, wealth condition will definitely get improved. In general, those who are in doing business or uh, even working in companies, there could be a good inflow of money in this particular time. The second one is Cancer. Cancer is a zodiac facing a lot of trouble through the Saturn and the 8th house. Were, these particular Jupiter transit is a welcome period for them because Jupiter moves from 10th house to the 11th house itself seems to be positive for them. Those who are doing business, those who are working in the companies, they get good salary rise. There will be good support through the elders, especially some may join business with the father as well as with their elder brothers. They get good support and advice in this time. The next zodiac is Virgo. For Virgo, so far Jupiter placed at the 8th house, most to the 9th house itself is good for them. Some may get properties from their ancestors, some may get assets from the father's side. There could be an unexpected luck. Some may invest in share market, find good profits. Investments in financial segments can yield them a lot of profits in this particular period. The next zodiac is Capricorn, where Jupiter moves to the fifth house. Whenever a positive planet like Jupiter Venus plays at the Tricono houses, it is highly positive. So for uh, Capricorn, this Jupiter transit is a welcome time for them in spite of their struggle in the seven and a half period of Saturn. There will be good support through the children. The seniors in this zodiac get good support from the children. Children get good job and good salary, they support their parents, so all positive things could happen this particular time. Finally, the Scorpio, where it comes to the 7th house, again it's a good house for them and it start aspecting the Scorpio directly. So there will be good support from the opponent, generally they will get support from the life partner, business partner, friends and all. Those doing business get support from the business partners, friends and all. There will be support from the neighbors. There will be good rise in the financial flow. So a lot of positive things could happen after this Jupiter transit. Now let us see the planetary portions after the Jupiter transit. On May 1st, 2024 by 2.20 pm, Jupiter from Aries moves to the second house Taurus. And during the time it seems to be the Leo ascendant. And at Virgo you, you can see Ketu positively aspected by Jupiter. You have a moon at the Capricorn where you have Shavana star on that particular time. Saturn being a ruler at uh, Aquarius taking Mool Trikon star there and at Pisces you have a conjunction of planets like Mercury, Mars and Rahu. And at Aries you have the Sun exalts and along with Sun you have Venus. So this is a planetary portion during the Jupiter transit time. Now let us see the impact of the Jupiter transit, positive as well as negative, and the scores that each and every zodiac will take after this Jupiter transit, right from Aries to Pisces. Taurus, the second zodiac sign, as per the Kalapusha Tattva. For Taurus, Jupiter from 12th house moves to the first house itself, it's a good sign because Jupiter takes the Dig bulb at the first house. When Jupiter takes the dig bulb at the first house, you can see a lot of health improvements. Those who are sick, who are elderly people, they can get good uh, remedies for the prolonging ailments. They get good doctors or get good support through medicines. They get good self-confidence and courage during this time. They can face any type of problems bravely and courageous. There will be a lot of good things during this time. Stress, they can be able to overcome the stress very easily. From the first house, Jupiter will aspect the fifth, seventh and the ninth houses. When Jupiter aspects the fifth house, there could be a good support from the children. Children might study well and they will be more disciplined and they will listen to their parents. Those who are married and waiting for a childbirth, the Jupiter transit can give them a lot of positive results. There could be a possibility of getting a child in this time. Jupiter aspecting the seventh house, the conflicts between the life partners, business partners and the friends will come to an end during this time. Those who are not married for long and looking for a good alliance, this Jupiter transit can fetch them a good family life. They could be able to seek the good alliance. Even the divorcees can find an alternate marriage life. The understanding between the couples, the family members, it will be better during this time. 
those who are separated can get reunited again even in business partnership business can yield lot of positivity there will be good understanding between the partners some may get support from the friends so these are some of the positivity when jupiter is aspecting the 7th house jupiter is aspecting the 9th house indicate asset purchase during the time some may get unexpected luck there will be properties which can come to them some may get fathers or the ancestors properties during this time some may follow the religious principles and practices followed by their ancestors some may show interest in traveling studying spiritual books visiting to temples even some may try to visit their native place and the native god and the time seems to be more favorable for them investments in financial segments can yield them lot of positive results the financial stability will be improved during this those who are not getting employment so far and seeking for a good job some may get entry into the film industries like an actor or a story writer or a poetist so their success can get them lot of familiarity among the public some may show interest in social media and uh, to try to publicize their uh, activities and get fame through the friends there will be good support from the elders some may even travel to foreign countries for business as well as for job so the jupiter transit from aries to taurus seems to be really good the movement of jupiter from 12th house to the 1st house for taurus indicate good health improvements for elders in this zodiac they find a good improvement over the diseases and they'll be control over the diseases and they'll get good self confidence during this time so these are all the positive things even the expenses they made so far will be controlled during this time. so there could be a positivity between 85 to 90% for taurus when we talk about taurus the nakshatras kritika pada 2 3 and 4 rohini and mrigasirisha pada 1 and 2 forms the cluster of taurus zodiac in that for the star of sun kritika pada 2 3 and 4 as sun happens to be the fourth house lord there could be a possibility of purchase of vehicles and uh, land during this time some may get support from the government investments in share market can yield them lot of positive results but saturn aspecting the fourth house there will be some problems too for them they may be lazy during certain aspects so they don't show interest much on taking certain initiative so we can say there could be a positivity up to 85% for the star of moon rohini and moon happens to be the third house lord they have self courage confidence and they face any type of challenges bravely there will be good marriage proposals for them those who are divorcees widows they get uh, marriage proposals during this even they get child birth during this period so we can say there could be a positivity up to 90% for the star of mars mrigasirisha pada 1 and 2 mars happened to be a 7th and 12th house lord there could be expenses out of marriages so those who are not married yet seeking for a good marriage life they'll get a good proposal and even they can settle down in this time there'll be good understanding between friends business partners some may show good interest in business and the volume will increase some may even travel foreign countries there could be a positivity up to 